as you can see, I am in my garage and the house which is attached to this garage, well, we moved into it about five years ago or so. And once we got the fiber connection connected, I bought an Asus router and then I grew that collection. Asus have got this kind of iMesh system where you can use any of their Wi-Fi routers as a Wi-Fi access point. And that's what I did. For the last four or five years, I've been invested into their ecosystem and 99.9% .9 of the time, I have been very, very happy with it. And I can still wholeheartedly recommend the Asus routers and Wi-Fi points to many of you out there. But I have decided to change my setup. And I, I did look at a lot of different options. I looked at Cisco, I looked at Draytech, I looked at PFSense, maybe setting up my own uh, PFSense router. I know that's a popular option, but I opted for Ubiquity. So I've decided to buy the U Ubiquity uh, Cloud Gateway Fiber. It came out, I think about two months ago. It's about 300 pounds. Uh, I think I paid 290 because I had to buy it from Europe. I think it's a great router. It looks like a great router on paper. It's got like, you know, three 10G connections. It was actually sold out for a few months there, which is why I've not bought it sooner. But I just kind of bit the bullet and bought it from Europe instead of the UK. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of Ubiquity. They're kind of the apple of the networking world. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. They've got a beautiful UI. They've got a great ecosystem, but they're not perfect. But no networking ecosystem is. Of course. Now, just to give you a little bit of background, my house is wired. I've got a lot of kind of like Ethernet ports around the house. But for the main, you know, setup, I've got the fiber that comes into the house that goes to the Asus E12 node, which is the main router, but also one of the main access points, Wi-Fi access points. I've got another E12 node, which acts as a, an access point in the middle floor of the house. I've kind of been moving that one around. It's not in a great position right now in, in some respects, but it, it it's working okay. The last uh, router that I've got is my old Asus gaming router, which is up there. And the reason I've got it up here in the garage is because I've got my NAS over there as well. And the NAS is quite noisy. Now I am thinking of changing that whole setup as far as, you know, moving the NAS in, inside into the pantry or something, just so that I've I've got 10G connections because out here, I'm not getting that, but they're kind of noisy, so it makes sense to have them here just now. So I, I'm going to talk briefly about Asus routers. I like them. I, I think they're great. And I like them because they're, they're very simple. They're very fast. The, the Wi-Fi strength, especially with the top models, is really good. You know, like really good antennas. They reach, you know, the furthest parts of the house, etc. So I've been very happy with it. And I've set up WireGuard and, you know, VPN tunnels and different things I can remotely log in. It's got all these advanced features that you wouldn't expect to see in a kind of home router setup. So I've been very happy with it. But there's one little thing that has always annoyed me and it happened again recently. And it's got to do with the way that the system resets. So I've got three nodes, one acts as a router and an access point, and then two additional access points. The other one is up there. And what happens is, especially with this one, if this one or the second, you know, the second or the third access points drops, if that drops out and it loses connection for whatever reason, then the system keeps running. And it's really good the way it works because, you know, if, if this one would drop connection, it would stop connecting to the second node and it would start connecting to the first uh, node and it would stay connected, the mesh network would continue. The problem which arises is that when you reset the prob problematic node and you have to reconnect it, when it's reconnecting, well, everything goes down. The main router goes down as well. When it's reconnecting everything back into the system, the internet goes down and you have to go through it all again. And sometimes connecting this node is a pain because the other Wi-Fi access points, the other nodes, they're all wired. They're connected via Ethernet. This one is not. This one is relying on a Wi-Fi connection. And to be honest, because of how thick the walls are in the garage, the Wi-Fi connection isn't the strongest, but it, it works. But that is kind of the problem that I've got is whenever one of the nodes disconnects for whatever reason, 
then you have to go back in and reconnect it. You have to rescan and things like that. And when that happens, the internet goes down. And that's what I don't want because I've got some things that run 24 seven, like a validator and some other, you know, little computing things that have to remain running 24 seven. I can't have it that whenever a Wi-Fi access point goes down, the whole system goes down, the whole internet connection goes down. And that's one of my main problems with the ASUS setup, which this is a thing that's not going to affect 99.9% .9 of home owners. They don't care about that. Having the internet go down for a few minutes isn't a problem. But for what I'm trying to do, I've got validators, crypto validators running 24 seven. I don't want that downtime. So that's why I've started looking at other auctions. I started looking at PFSense, et cetera, but I've opted for Ubiquity and that's because yes, it doesn't have as advanced features, well, certain features as PFSense, perhaps not as flexible, but it has a ton of advanced features and it's got a whole ecosystem of cameras and, you know, dashboards and, you know, accessories and different things. It's expensive, but I found with networking gear that it kind of pays to get the good stuff because you're going to keep it for five, six, seven years. And a lot of these things hold their value well as well. So anyway, guys, this, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I've got the, the Ubiquity Cloud Gateway Fiber coming in a couple of days. And then I'm going to have to set it all up, etc. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about it, about why I'm moving to that system. And at this point, I can't say whether it's going to be a good move. There might be a lot of teething problems. I, I could be jumping from one problem into a different series of problems. I don't know at this point, but this was my thinking behind it. I wanted to buy a dedicated router, one that did not have a Wi-Fi access point, one that was not affected by that. So I'm hoping it's going to be a good migration. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this. So please do post a comment below. And until next time, from the cold garage, take care.